Hey everybody, welcome back to The Odds Couple. I'm Sid Rosenberg alongside expert and esteemed handicapper, my dear friend Mark Lawrence, publisher, of course, of the spectacular playbook.com. Mark, good to see you, pal. Likewise, so let's have a great week this week. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's get him going here. Kudos to Brett Favre. You called this one. Nice job out of you. I thought the Packers would get him. He exacted revenge. A great game in his own stopping grounds. Even though he was the only thing standing between me and a perfect 6-0 and this past weekend, I'm still going to give him credit. How about well, that? Uh, congratulations to Sid Rosenberg on a great week last week. Only Brett Favre had a better week than Sid Rosenberg. <laughs> there you go. Well, maybe Ted Ginn Jr. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Speaking of perfection, three for three on last week's Hot Trends as well. Continuously, Playbook.com gives you the best trends out there. Let's see what's in store for this Sunday. Trend number one, Mark, the Bengals are hosting division rival Baltimore with the Steelers on tap next week. That could be trouble for the Ravens. It could be trouble for the Ravens. Look at Cincinnati, 9-1 to the spread in games before Pittsburgh, including a perfect 5-0 and when they're at home in this particular role. They only come into this game with a week of rest on top of it. Look out for the Cincinnati Bengals here. Nobody knows if they're flying under the radar right now. Look for this team to make the playoffs. All right, Mark. Trend number two, the Seahawks are back home to face the lowly Lions after getting shellacked in Dallas. The spread is right at about 10, but Seattle actually might wish it was higher. How about the Seattle Seahawks laying a 10-point favorite in this football game? I don't think so. 112 and 1 to the spread when they're laying double digits off a double-digit point spread loss. The bottom line, bad teams shouldn't be laying double digits in football games. I don't care who the opposition is. It happens to be Detroit this week, but you don't lay Seattle minus the 10 here. Look out for the Detroit Lions. Not the upset, but at least the cover. Yeah, that seems like a lot of points. So Detroit did lose to St. Louis last week, so they're yes. kind of the ugly duckling yes, of the are. week. The Eagles trounced my Giants last Sunday. Wish this wasn't in the prompter, by the way. We could have moved past this. They're not the only team that's trounced your Giants. Well, I know. Either. It's been a weekly thing now, three straight weeks. <laughs> yes. They should bounce back nicely this week, though, I think, against Dallas. I know the Cowboys have played well, but I think they're in trouble in Philly on Sunday night. I think they are, too. So Dallas is playing really good football at home here of late, and everybody says, look out for a Philadelphia letdown from the Giants. It doesn't happen. 11-1 to the spread is Philadelphia after tackling the Giants here. And like I say, Dallas does all their damage at home here. I know they have revenge from being knocked out of the playoffs last year, denied the playoffs last year, but I still like the Eagles on a roll at home. All right, Mark, let's go right to the mailbag. Ryan in Fort Lauderdale, locally down here, he says, I know my Redskins stink, but I think our defense is good enough to keep us in it and at least cover against the Falcons this Sunday. How about Atlanta and Washington? I happen to like that side of this football game, Atlanta, here. Two reasons, Sid. Number one, Atlanta comes off that hard-fought loss at New Orleans on Monday night, a game they could have won, tough interception in the late stages of the game, or else they pulled the upset in that football game. Now they're going to go lay double digits to Washington, who has a week of rest, and the better defense. You don't lay double digits to teams that have better defenses here. I know Washington's offense is inept, but a good defensive dog here. Take the points with the skin. All right, there you go, Mark. If you have any handicapping questions out there, folks, send us an email, theoddscouple at opensports.com. That's theoddscouple at opensports.com. Segment number one in the bag. The picks are coming up next. Stick around. We're making you money right here on The Odds Couple.